Hi everybody, this is Mike Gertis with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with Wonder Dog Yoga, who just finished her second dinner, bringing you another love note. Well, here we are, it's the 3rd of January, it's Monday, and we made it through Christmas and New Year's. Woohoo! You'll notice the decorations are down, and you know, while the decorations are great and the Christmas season is great and New Year's great, it really feels kind of nice for us to get back to you regular just our regular life you know just get back to the way we normally live life you know it reminds me that with the things that are happening nothing is like it was before did you notice that i mean a lot of us who attend the center attend it online now the advantage to that is that some of us can't go to the center during these times or some of us may be in Canada or Florida or wherever you might be. It'd be a little bit difficult to make the commute physically, but you're able to join us via Zoom. I'm mean, excuse me, via um, live stream. And that's fabulous. And then classes are different too. Um, I've been teaching a class on the science of mind every Saturday morning since I believe it was June 13th, 2019 or 2020 rather it's a while back the point of it is it continues and we've got people from canada and from the western united states and of course locally and it's a wonderful class and for those of you who would like to participate it's not too late to join you can join anytime just email me at revmike at cslphilly.org and i'll send you an invite you know with all these changes works different too a lot of people work from home now or maybe only show up a day or two and when we go out it's different now too you'll notice that usually we don't go or where we when we go places we're cautious about how many people are there and whether they're wearing masks or what their mask policy is and what their um, vaccination requirements are these are all things that we need to be mindful for now that we didn't used to be mindful for so there's been a lot of changes. Life is not the same as it was before. And people are saying, well, I wish we could go back to the good old days. There are no good old days. Things will always be different and they will continue to be different, but they're gonna be different from the way they are now too. Things will get quote unquote better. Eventually we'll have this scary pandemic behind us or at least under control and we'll be able to get on with life. But a lot of these things that we've learned in adapting to living with a pandemic, we will keep on doing. We will keep on practicing safety. We'll keep on practicing um, things through the internet, having classes through the internet, for, through Zoom. We'll be continuing to do things like that. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to hear Dr. Robert Bitzer's last talk at a Silomar. He was an amazing man. And I sort of think of him as my spiritual grandfather because he's the one that taught the ministerial class to my teacher. So he said, my yesterdays, no matter how good they were, are not good enough for my today. Now here's a man that had done, I mean, he was a, he was a World War I pilot in the U.S. Army Air Corps. Then he became a medical doctor, and then he became a minister. So this, this man did, accomplish a lot. And he and his wife were flying to, to uh, Europe in the springtime to go to lunch. They did a lot of good things, wonderful things. You won't ever want to check out Dr. Robert Bisser. He's amazing. He jumped off the planet a while back, but that fact that he'd accomplished all that he'd accomplished, but he recognized that his yesterdays were not good enough for today. So rather than bemoaning what it's not like now, I think what we could do is accept what is, adapt to what is, and find the good right here, right now. We can have the opportunity to rise to the occasion. We have the opportunity 
to realize something better than we would have before. I mean, some of us can be spending more time on our spiritual journey. Somebody, could, Some of us could be spending more time reading. Oh my God, this reading. Yes, some of us could be learning a foreign language, learning an instrument. There's lots of things brushing up on your uh, brushing up on your pinnacle or your crossword game. A lot of us could be doing things now other than just the way we had been doing things in the past. And I think we could take a look at things that we could do now that would improve the quality of our life and perhaps the quality of the lives around us that we weren't doing before. What is it that you could do? What is it Spirit's telling you that you could do to make this world just a little bit better? What is Spirit telling you that you could do to help out somebody else? Whether that's a human being or a little fluffy being, what can you do to be of betterment to your fellow sentient beings? What can you do to perhaps help the environment? What can you do to perhaps help the uneducated children? What can you do perhaps to end racism and white nationalism? What is it that you can do that you live and we live in greater peace and understanding? I'll tell you what it is that you can do. You find the answer within yourself first. Go into spirit, ask spirit to guide you and direct you, and then be open and receptive. And those ideas that will come that express the greater idea of life and love and harm no one. That's your divine download. And then you can choose. You can choose this day who you shall serve. Divine inspiration or bemoaning what you've always done that you can't do anymore. The choice is yours. And I know you'll make the right choice. That's all for tonight. Yoga says good night. Tomorrow you get the opportunity to hear the lovely Reverend Dr. Maxine with her love note. And until then, I see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.